Nicola Sturgeon has landed in hot water over the Edinburgh bin strikes after her own rubbish was collected by taxpayer-funded contractors. According to the Mail on Sunday, the Scottish Government hired private waste removal firm Mighty last year to remove rubbish from its buildings. The firm covers over 70 Scottish Government buildings at a cost of £43 million, including from Ms Sturgeon's official residence. Bin strikes across Scotland saw binmen from over 60% of Scottish councils refuse to pick up waste since last Friday. As a result the streets of Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Dundee and many towns have become littered with rat-infested rubbish. Scottish Conservative spokesman for housing Miles Briggs said it was unfair that Butte House was left, spick and span, while other Edinburgh residents were forced to languish in a landfill site. He said, taxpayers who stump up for her bin collection to the tune of millions of pounds also pay for a proper council service, which they are being denied thanks to her, Ms Sturgeon's, government's cuts and dithering. Workers from 20 councils refused to work in a bitter pay dispute with the Convention of Scottish Local Authorities, COSLA. The strikes are currently set to continue until the end of the month. Further walkouts are planned from September 6 to 13 after talks broke down on Sunday. In a statement on Sunday night, Edinburgh Council confirmed that rubbish will be collected from next Tuesday onwards. Bosses from the GMB, Unison and Unite Unions have rejected a 5% pay offer from COSLA, which they say amounts to a 7% pay cut when set against rampant inflation. The Scottish Government has provided £140 million of funding to councils to help boost workers' pay. Scottish Labour leader Anas Sawa said a one-off bonus payment would be needed to support this, however. Public Health Scotland has warned that the build-up of food waste and human waste from nappies poses a risk to safety and has urged councils to decontaminate areas in which bins have overflowed. 